In this video, we will be showing you how to install our hinge door enclosure on an EasyGo RXV. For this installation, you will need the following tools. Before starting the installation process, ensure the windshield is removed from the golf cart and carefully set aside. Next, identify the driver and passenger side header bars. To install the headers, remove the outermost roof strut bolts using a 5 8 wrench and ratchet to loosen the bolts. Repeat the process on all of the remaining bolts. With the bolts removed, place the washers on the replacement bolts and place the new bolts in the holes. The 2.5 inch bolts go up front and the longer 3.5 inch bolts go in the back. With the bolts dropped into the holes, take your driver's side header bar and secure it in place. Be sure that the key stock is in the rear facing the passenger side and hand tighten the nut on the front tab. With that done, add the washer and 7 8 spacer to the rear connection point and hand tighten the nut. Next, install the passenger side header by sliding it over the key stock then adding the washer and 7 8 spacer to the rear connection point and hand tightening the nut. With the rear secure, slide the bolt through the front tab on the passenger side and hand tighten the nut. Repeat on the opposite side and use the 5 8 wrench and ratchet to secure the bolts. With that complete, you can prep the headers for post install by placing the 10 32nd by 1 and 1 quarter inch bolts with washers in the outermost holes drilled on the side of the header bar and securing loosely with the nut. The inner set of holes may be used for frame adjustments. Now you can attach the top of the rear door post by sliding the F-tab in place facing the rear of the cart and tightening it in place using a 5 16 socket and 3 8 wrench. Repeat this process on the other side. With the top secured, remove the bolts below to secure the bottom of the rear post. Using the 7 seconds Allen wrench, loosen and remove the bolts. Then, using a 5 16 drill bit, drill through the existing bolt holes in the rocker panels. Now, put the replacement 3 inch bolts and washers in place and tighten with a 7 16 wrench and ratchet to secure the door posts. Repeat this on the other side. You can now secure the front posts in place with the F-tab facing the front using the 5 16 socket and 3 8 wrench to lock the post in place. Repeat this on the other side. With the top of the front posts in place, you can secure the bottoms by removing the factory bolts located near the bottom of the post just to the inside of the cabin with a 7 seconds inch Allen wrench. With those removed, Position the lower front post bracket over the hole and secure using the factory bolt and washer. You can then secure the lower post bracket to the front door posts by attaching the slot side of the bracket to the post using the included 1 and 1 quarter inch screw, washer, and nut, tightening with a 3 8 inch socket and 5 16 wrench. Alternatively, you can also accomplish this step using the slot at the bottom of the post. After final door frame adjustments are made and the post is in the correct position, drill a hole through the rocker panel and secure the post with a bolt, washer, and nut. With the door posts installed, you can then set the door in place and make any final adjustments. 
The door should open and close freely. If it does not, gently tap the bars with a rubber mallet to adjust the angle until it closes properly, tightening the bolts when adjustments are complete. You can now install the front side panels by wrapping around the front roof support and securing the hook and loop velcro. Then, wrap the panel fabric around the front door post and secure the Velcro. To install the door panels, refer to your instruction manual and lay the panels out, ensuring that the notches match up with the hinges on your doors. Once you have secured the Velcro, wrap the crossbar covers, then set the door aside. You will reinstall the doors later. In addition to the hinge doors being removable, they also have zippered windows. Just zip down and tuck behind the crossbar. For this part of the installation, begin by loosening the bolts located on the back side of the seat using a Torx T25 bit. Continue by feeding the cover in place with the Velcro flap facing downward, tucking it down behind the seat. With a panel in place, you can begin with securing the Velcro loops to the header bars and door posts. The DoorWorks hinge door enclosure works with the three standard RXV configurations, golf setup, rear facing seat, or utility door. Please note, the cart must have the standard two passenger roof. Now, if you'd like to secure the bottom flap in place, you can add the 36 inch strip of Velcro, but this step is optional. DoorWorks hinge door enclosures are also available for custom seats. With the bottom secured, you can now unzip and secure the back window to access the sweater basket or to let in some fresh air. Now you can install the door latch. When assembled, the handle should look like this, with a bolt going through the hole in the latch with spacers between the latch and frame on either side and secured with the lock nut. To install, align the latch with the holes in the door frame and feed the bolt through the holes and spacers, securing with a 3 8 socket and 5 16 wrench. Next, install the standout latches. Locate the standout tab near the corner of the header bars and attach the latch with a 10 seconds by 3 quarter inch bolt and washer, locking down with a 5 16 wrench and 3 8 ratchet. Finally, add the rubber weather stripping to the side of your enclosure. Attach the Velcro inside the header bar and trim to fit if necessary. Repeat this on the other side. With the Velcro strips in place, you can then cut and secure the Velcro backed rubber weather stripping. Repeat this on the other side. You can now secure your windshield back in place to complete the installation of your DoorWorks hinged door enclosure on your EasyGo RXV. We also offer several optional accessories for this golf cart. The windshield kit is designed to fit snug to the windshield to stop any drafts or cold air that may get through. Simply attach to the windshield and secure the windshield in place. Wind can cause unclosed doorworks and closure doors to be slammed against the rear tire, causing the tire to rub against the fabric and leave a mark. Door guards take care of this issue. Just snap to the bottom of the door for a simple no-tool installation. Rubber weather stripping for the doors will add an extra water and air barrier between the door and the post. Thanks for watching.